thanks for coming. Are you kidding me? This is gonna be fun. I used to do this when I was 16 at the mall. Without the cancer part. I have a movie premiere and I need to look like myself at my most fabulous. Would you like natural hair or acrylic? Sweetheart, does it look like I do acrylic? These are our best natural hair. Sassy and pretty me. No and no. Fine. Let's try this. It's from the Roddy Magritte line. This looks like you. Hmm? Gary? Hmm? How do I look? You look like Florence Henderson. Florence Henderson had a bad wig. <sighs> Listen, I can't be on the red carpet in a bad rug. Do you understand? I know. This is candy. She's very popular. I don't think you're listening. I don't want to look like candy. I just want to look like myself. Ma'am, these are wigs. They're not ever going to look exactly like you. Well, that is not acceptable. We could style the bang. Don't touch my head. I've worked with many women with cancer. I don't have cancer. I have a premiere, and I don't want some second-rate wig named after a hooker. My hair is my thing. This is bullshit. Gary, we're going. I'm just so angry. The chemo I can handle, but this hair thing, it's... It's too much. Sweetie, we'll find you a better wig. I have left hair all over Manhattan. Every time the wind blows, I have to check to make sure I'm not bald. It's only temporary. It'll grow back. And until then, I have to look like a sick person. And I don't do sick person. Because you're not. You're someone who had a little blip of bad luck, and now it's over. Well, what if it's not over? It's over. So over. What if it comes back? I could die, Carrie, with really bad hair. Hey. You are not going anywhere. Carrie, please. Let me talk about what I'm afraid of. Please. The denial part of me wanted to say, you'll be fine. Instead, I said, okay, I'm here. Uh, maybe I should just shave it all off. Yeah, you could be one of those fantastic bald women who's all about earrings. I better not look like fucking Kojak. Cancer. Turns out, <laughs> not so hilarious. After Samantha lost control, she did the only thing she knew to get it back. Babe. got your BlackBerry message. What do you mean you're not coming to my premiere? I'm very busy. I'm shaving my head, all right? And it's scary and awful, and you can't handle it. Who says I can't handle it? You freaked out after just a few little hairs. You freaked out, too? You lost your heart on. Shit happens. Let me be here for you. Listen, this is very intense and you're being very sweet, but there is no way that you can relate to what I'm going through. What are you doing? No, you can't. Your hair's your thing. Chill out, I'm busy. And when I'm done cue balling here, I'm moving right over to you. That night, Smith gave Samantha the very best head of her life.